back with another video. I'm looking kind of crazy, but it's okay. I just be forgetting the time I hear now. But today I'm going to be doing a Q&A slash mukbang. And today I got, as y'all can see, some picture of felt like a DoorDash fit. And I got me a bowl, this Sprite thing. I gotta open it. I did a mukbang before. I was gonna sit around here, but I guess not. So, oh, I hope I didn't forget the cheese on my stuff. So, I got, hopefully, it's good because when you do that, when you do that, it'd be nasty. Okay, it's not bad. I got red salsa, chicken, lettuce, cheese, and sour cream. I like my stuff plain. Ooh, I feel like I have to sneeze. I like my stuff plain. I don't really do too much. Because I'm picky. I need to figure out how I'm going to open this. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I got it open. Oh, it's not even in the camera. I got it open. I forgot to open it. I figured it out. Okay. I don't know how many people has asked me the questions. Because I honestly just posted it. Hopefully it's enough people. But you know. First of me, let's get a little taste into this food. Into this good food. Now I'm not honestly... I'm more of a cute double fan than Chipotle, but I don't know. I just want to get Chipotle instead. Um, that bite was a little dry. I'm not gonna lie. I need to mix it up. Let me mix it, mix it up. They always put more cheese than like sour cream or anything else. Like, come on now. Okay. Let's see, let's see. A lot of people ask about college, like, they be boring. Okay. Said, okay. What college do you go to? Are you switching and why? Um, I go to Xavier University in Cincinnati, Ohio. And... I'm not switching. I was gonna switch like in the beginning. In the beginning, like when I didn't have no friends or nothing. And I was like really um I wouldn't stay homesick. I just didn't really like the people. They were just it was just a whole bunch of weird stuff going on. Ooh. Yeah, it was a whole bunch of weird stuff going on. So I was just like ready to go and I had a lot of emotions. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to switch. But then, I changed my mind. I'm not switching anymore. I found a good set of friends. I love them. And I feel like it's a really good school. And somebody told me um, that and my, I'm probably, this is a good school, and me, I'm not thinking about, what did he say? I was like, I'm going to switch to Michigan State. And he was like, you going for the fun and not, like, for the, your career or whatever like that. 
when I really wasn't, I just didn't like the school. But the school is a really good school. And it's a really good school to have, like, a degree from. Especially going into, like, medical school. So, yeah. I'm going to stay. I'm going to think it out. And, you know, it's better now. So, it's like, why not stay? You know? Um, yeah. Yeah. How did you balance your school, your home friends from school friends? Um, well, I'm not in Michigan, so if you think like I go to Michigan State or something, and my school friends and like they don't mix, but I go to a school that's far away, so I say balance. I don't know. Like one of my homegirls from home is friends with my one of my friends from school because like, I introduce them and we just be on the phone all the time together. But, I mean, none of my friends is weird, so if I mix them together, it wouldn't be a problem. And I am going to do that. Like, in two weeks, I'm going back to my school for the weekend, because I'm doing online, so I'm staying home. But I'm going back to school for the weekend, because it's like big parties. So, I'm like going to mix them and see how it is. And I'm, I'm sure it'll go good. But balancing them, you know, I, I talk to all of them the same. I mean, I haven't been talking much to my school friends, but like one or two like almost every day but i don't know i don't really know how to answer that question because it's like they're not mixed up so it's like nothing to really balance i talk to them the same like on the phone whenever i feel uh yeah i don't know how to answer that what has your college life been like so far it's been really good, honestly. It's been a lot of ups and downs. I was stressed in the beginning. Um, I had boy problems. Had. It was not any boy problems, actually. Let me not say boy problems. In my last video. It's really... My last video explains everything for real, for real. But, uh, yeah. College life been fun. That's all I can say. It can get stressful with classes and stuff, but you know, you gotta talk to the counselors and stuff to um, get that handled so you don't be stressed. But other than that, it's so fun. It's always something to do on and off campus. You meet good people, you meet bad people. You just keep it pushing. Like, it's a lot of funny memories. You don't gotta be controlled by your family if that happens. If that happens, like, you're not controlled by your family, you can do what you want. Like, it's really, it's freedom for real. College life, you're free. Like, that's all it is. And you just don't have to worry about nothing. Unless you're paying tuition yourself. But I'm not. You don't gotta worry about nothing. You just live your life for the free speed. <laughs> for real. It's college fun. What is the pros and cons? Like I said, it's very fun. Pros, you got freedom. You can do what you want. But certain places you can't. Certain schools. But like, most of the time you do what you want, whatever you want. Um... Let's see. Con. I don't know. I'm not a school person. So, having to be in school. Actually, let me not say that because I like being in school. It's just I have to be doing what I want to do. But, I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell y'all the pros and cons. Like, pros, you meet good friends. You're having fun. You're experiencing things. You have a lot of opportunities. You're bringing up your life you're going to get a degree that's going to put a good image on you um cons the food be nasty sometimes when you go in class it's snowing you don't want to go to class or raining like that um if your schedule messed up it's tiring trying to get to class and it's just weird Teachers be on BS sometime. Mm. 
it's hard working and doing school at the same time. It's not like high school being able to have a job and have a, being in high school. So, yeah, that was pros and cons for me. What is your type of man? <laughs> That's a fun question. My type of man, you know, I don't discriminate. Um, but I prefer six three to six five. So you know, I'm gonna say something in the sixes. I don't want nothing shorter than that. Six and six feet and up, really six one and up. Brown skin. I like tattoos, but you know, if you don't have tattoos, that's fine. I like fit, really strong and fit. If I, if I could, I would like a boy that's a like, can either play basketball or football and in the fraternity. Like that's a really good mix, but you know that's rare. So, you know, either or. Um. Someone is successful, has a good mindset, um, is healed, whatever they went through, they better be healed because I need a man with, with a good head on their shoulders. Um, all about their business, like all about their money and family and loyalty, all that. That's I really like that type of man. And adventurous. That's really my type of man for real. Family man, like I said. Um, I really love a gentleman, a man that could cook, a man that's just romantic and, you know, that's, that's my type of man. Um, where are you in life right now? Are you happy, sad, processing, working on it? Um, um, I'm going to say processing. I'm not happy, sad, mad. I'm just in the middle. Maybe because, you know, at first I was becoming happy because I've opened up about things in my family. Like I've been through a lot and little things that happened in my life. I opened up to my family about it. Not little things because they're big, horrible, traumatizing things. I opened up about it and I'm like me and my dad and my grandma we got this better relationship I feel like and being in college I feel like I don't have to censor nothing so I tell them everything I've done in college like not every single little thing but most of the things I do like I just don't lie anymore and it's like I'm grown so what are you gonna do you only graduate college, so it's not like you go stop paying for college. So it's, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I, that's not, you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but I'm in the middle, I'm practicing, and I just got in a traumatizing situation. I'm not traumatized, me personally, but it's traumatizing sitting in the house all day. It can get depressing and can barely walk. Well, I can walk, but like not as good. Like, my leg be trying to lock and I be about to fall sometimes. It be so scary, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I just was trying to walk up the stairs. I just almost fell. And if I would have bent my leg, it would have been bad. Because I can't fully bend my leg right now. Like, it's the muscle's too tight. And the kneecap is too tight. So it's not bending fully. And it's taking a long, longer than it should. But, yeah, I just got a lot going on right now. Like, when summer started, I actually was happy. Um, but then I got in this traumatizing situation and it ruined everything and I've been sitting out of summer since June 25th. I have not, I've been in the house, I've been in the house, hospital, doctors, physical therapy, like, it's really messed up. I ain't doing nothing and then some people, friends been weird, nobody visits, like, well, let me not say nobody visits because people visit me. My friends have visited me, some of them. But like, I wanna do stuff. Nobody, like I've been wanting to ask my friends like, let's go places. And I, it's like, I don't wanna be a burden. Like, you know, walking too slow. <laughs> Even though they probably wouldn't care, but I just feel that way. So, uh, yeah, until I healed, I don't really wanna go nowhere. But I really been wanting to go see, go to movies and see Barbie and stuff like that. But 
where I'm, like I said, the question where I'm at in life, I'm in the middle, I'm processing, I got a lot going on, and I'ma just thug it out. Hopefully September is better. We're in August right now, but I don't think my life will back start to like September, and beginning of September, and middle, of whatever. But um, yeah, I'm processing, getting through it. Um, how do you deal with fake people being around you? Not, I'ma say. I don't deal with it at all, actually. Actually, let me not. Let me stay there. I don't deal with it. Because I black all that fake people out of my life. And kick them out. But... But honestly, you just have to, like I said, block it out. If you if you gotta be cordial with somebody fake, you know, don't don't tell your business. Hey, how you doing? That's that's you, that's all you can do. Keep it pushing. You know, and all the beef and stuff and fighting with somebody bigger like that. I just don't do it no more. If I have to, but I will. But. It's just like, it's nothing you can do. The way people are, that's just how they are. You can't deal with how fake somebody is. Just let it be. Keep it pushing, keep it, hey, whatever. Alright, fake bit. It's like, nah. But, yeah. You can't really worry about people like that. All that fake people. I just don't. Mm -mm. I don't deal with it. That's just me. Mm. Who's the besties of besties? Huh? My best friend said that, but I don't know what that means. Who the besties of besties? Are we the besties of all besties? They say of all, you say of besties. I don't know. I don't know what that means, Mason. I don't know what that means. But, uh, okay. Um, let me see. How do you feel about the boys that go to our school? Um, In all honesty, I feel like the boys at our school, I have been really black boys. I haven't found, like, I never dated a white boy before. And if I did, they're not the type of white boys I would date at our school. <laughs> but the minimal black people at our school, it's, um, I don't know. I don't really like them. I have a boyfriend there. He was good. He left the school. I think I said that in my school videos. I need to stop saying that. But it's the truth. He was the only good boy at the school that actually, like, I've dated. And I haven't talked to nobody else since. Um, well, I'm not gonna lie. I, did tr I didn't try to talk to them. It was like a little talking stage. Not talking. Just chilling, actually. And it is weird. It was um, it is and it was weird, bro. We're not in school no more, so I can't really speak on it. Well, I could, cause it'd be like a little bit of communication, but it's a lot of weird stuff with that person, and just the boys in general. They're they're weird. They're childish. Like a group of boys that went to the school, at least three or four boys out of that friend group tries to talk to me. After the same exact time, they was all just texting me. I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know if it was like a setup type of thing of who could get me or something like that. And I don't know what their intentions was. Because they're just weird. Like, I don't know. It didn't give, like, 
they're just weird and childish and do weird stuff and it I don't know because I remember one boy out of that friend group was like we know how you get down but it was just like you I just became open on this campus so nobody knew me on this campus except for a few people so you don't know me and then the new friends I met you may know what they've been doing and what they do but I don't do what they do they're their own person so don't try to put me in that like what the heck that was so weird but um yeah I don't like the boys at our school like if they was my friends homeboys cool but they it's like I don't know I could I have male friends but like they some every time I get male friends they try to like me and be with me and it's just so irritating like I just want a decent male group of friends but no that's not how it works try to be friends with them they trying to get in your pants he supposed to be my homeboy my brother but yeah no no I don't like them and I did like one like another one besides my my ex he was I really miss him the boy I said that was weird and we were chilling he was cool uh I can say we friends we like I don't like the boys that are cool they probably could be cool friends but their hope sometimes they could be bad people <laughs> um yeah See, let's do one more question what is your relationship status and where are you at with it um my relationship status is single almost every q and a i do people ask me that but i'm single i don't talk to nobody there's people boys in my life that keep trying to come back and I had to block them all. Most of them are from my past that just been in my life for years. I'm not gonna fake like they just be here. I was like, come on, you're not. I'm ready for a relationship. Get out of my face. So I blocked all the boys. I don't got time for boys. I'm just single, not talking to nobody. I'm in a no men, no men in relationship wise in my life. Um, I'm focusing on me. I don't want to say healing because, like, I'm, I'm not hurt or nothing, but, like, finding myself doing me, single, having fun, not too much fun, focused on school. That's it. I don't really want to entertain no boys because, you know, I get really mad. I might, you know, go off too bad and, you know, hurt someone. So, yeah. No boys in my life, no time soon, unless... Like I said, I'm single and I'm finding myself, but you know, I've been doing me for a long time. And if the right one come, because if God sent them to me, then yeah, I'm, I'll go for it. But I ain't giving my all because, you know, that's uh, too much. I don't got, got time to get my way, time wasted. Yeah, no. Nah. But. That was the last question. Thank y'all for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. I'm really gonna make another banger after I eat this off camera. Cause you know I'm on the ground like I said. And stay tuned for the next video. And if y'all see this shirt on, that mean I made see me in another video with the shirt on. That mean I made two videos in a row. So Stay tuned, you feel me? Bye, BK babies.